Welcome back to Anatomy and Physiology on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Now for layer three, we have to peel those muscles off or reflect them. And we've got three muscles here. One of them is a two-headed muscle. Those muscles are flexor hallucis brevis, flexor digiti quinti, and adductor or adductor hallucis, which has two heads, an oblique head and a transverse head. All right, so kind of like in the first layer, we had an abductor hallucis and an abductor digiti quinti. Now we have a flexor hallucis and a flexor digiti quinti, okay? It's just that this one is a brevis since we already have a flexor hallucis longus. All right, this muscle right here, uh, this is actually flexor hallucis brevis. And in fact, this is actually a two-headed muscle because this muscle over here is also flexor hallucis brevis, okay? Notice that this two-headed muscle actually goes around the tendon of flexor hallucis longus. That's interesting because we saw a similar thing for flexor digitorum longus and flexor digitorum brevis. We have the same thing for the hallux. So the muscular parts of flexor hallucis brevis, when they become tendons, they actually uh, flank the tendon of flexor hallucis longus on either side. But rather than simply being a, a bifurcation of the tendon, it's really just two heads right here. So hopefully that makes sense. That's flexor hallucis brevis. If we want to be really specific, it originates on the plantar surface of cuboid and lateral cuneiform bones, and then it inserts on the medial and lateral proximal phalanx of the big toe. And it's going to do so with these tendons, and notice that in these tendons you have a couple of sesamoid bones. Uh, those sesamoid bones actually perform the same function as the patella in the knee. They increase the mechanical advantage of that movement. Okay, and so they just result in the flexion of the great toe. Then we have flexor digiti quinti right here. Again, it's doing a very similar thing to flexor hallucis brevis, except in this case, it just has one belly. Uh, it's gonna originate from the base of the fifth metatarsal, and then it's gonna insert on the proximal phalanx of the fifth toe, and it's gonna result in flexion of the digiti quinti, that is the little toe or fifth digit. Then we have adductor hallucis. Adductor hallucis has two heads, oblique and transverse. The oblique head is closer to the tarsal bones, meaning it's more proximal. The transverse head is further from those, and it's going to be more distal. So this is the oblique head because it's running diagonally. Now the oblique head has its origin on the base of the second, third, and fourth metatarsals, and then it's going to insert right here at the lateral base of the proximal phalanx of the hallux, or the big toe. So that's going to be the oblique head. Then we have the transverse head. You can actually see three separate parts of those, one originating from each of these digits right here. And in general, the origin of the transverse head is going to be the plantar ligaments of the lateral four metatarsophalangeal joints right here. And then it's, all, th all of those heads are going to insert on the lateral base of the proximal phalanx of the hallux. Now because insertions are pulled toward origins, you're going to have the great toe or the hallux pulled in this direction okay, by both the actions of the transverse head and the oblique head. Okay? But both heads together uh, comprise the adductor hallucis. All right, those are the muscles in layer three. Flexor hallucis brevis, flexor digiti quinti, and adductor hallucis, both oblique and transverse head. Now, to see the very last bit of muscles in layer four, we have to remove these. These are the deepest muscles within the foot, okay? And they're called interosseous muscles. There's plantar interossei and dorsal interossei. Technically, the plantar interossei, when you're standing upright, are closer to the floor. The dorsal interossei are closest to your head, okay? If you want to think about it that way. But when we're looking at these, the plantar interossei are going to originate on the medial sides of the third, fourth, and fifth metatarsals. So here is a plantar interosseous muscle, okay? You can see that it's going to originate here on the medial side of the fifth metatarsal. There's one here originating from the fourth and one here on the third. A little bit darker red there. 
and they're going to insert on the medial sides of the proximal phalanges of the third, fourth, and fifth digits, as well as the extensor expansion. If we follow this one right here, we can see that it's going to run distally. You can follow its tendon up here, and it's going to insert on the medial side of the same digit. Okay? That is a plantar interosseous muscle. And the plantar interosseous muscle are going to be adductors. They're going to bring the digits closer to the midline. And in terms of the foot, the way the midline is defined, it's different than the hand. It's defined as an imaginary line that goes right through the second digit. The reason that's different is in the hand, the midline is the third digit, but in the foot, it's the second digit. So to adduct, it's going to have to bring those digits closer to the second digit. Okay? So plantar interossei muscles, adductors. And just a word of warning, this figure for some reason is actually incorrect. These adduct and abduct should actually be flipped. Okay? This direction is abduct in purple, and this direction in green is adduct. Okay? Plantar interossei muscles, adductors. Now for the dorsal interossei, these muscles are uh, abductors, they're abductors. So they're going to bring the toes away from this midline right there. Okay? Their origin is off of the adjacent side of two metatarsals, meaning if we look at this first dorsal interosseous muscle, one of the origins is going to be off of this toe, which is the great toe, the metatarsal. The other one's going to be off of the adjacent metatarsal. So the dorsal interossei actually have two heads each. You just can't see the other heads here because they're covered up by the plantar interosseous muscle of each of these interdigital spaces. So origin, adjacent sides of both metatarsals within that particular interdigital space, and their insertion is going to depend on which one you're talking about. The first dorsal interosseous muscle is going to insert on the medial side of the second digit right here. Okay? And so it's going to actually pull the second digit this direction toward the big toe. However, we have a different arrangement for these three over here. This one is the second dorsal interosseous muscle. It's actually going to insert on the lateral side of the second digit, and it's going to want to pull the second digit this direction towards digiti quinti. Okay? So actually we have two dorsal interosseous muscles that actually are antagonistic to each other because they insert on opposite sides of the same digit. And that's actually characteristic of this digit because the second digit really shouldn't abduct or adduct to any great extent. It's defined as the midline of the foot. Now the third dorsal interosseous muscle inserts on the lateral side of the third digit, so it's going to pull the third digit towards the digiti quinti, and then the fourth dorsal interosseous muscle is going to insert on the lateral side of the fourth digit, so it's going to pull the fourth digit again this direction towards the digiti quinti. Now, just to rehash this, layer one of the foot, which is deep to the plantar aponeurosis and plantar fascia, layer one has abductor hallucis, flexor digitorum brevis, and abductor digiti quinti. All the abductors, or at least the ones that are named abductor, are in this layer, plus flexor digitorum brevis. Layer 2 has two tendons and two intrinsic muscles, flexor digitorum longus and flexor hallucis longus tendons, and then the four lumbricals and quadratus plantae. Layer 3 has two flexors, flexor hallucis brevis and flexor digiti quinti, and then the adductor hallucis, both oblique and transverse heads. Then the deepest layer, layer 4, has the plantar interossei, which are adductors, and the dorsal interossei, which are abductors. Okay? Now, I promised I'd come back and talk about the innervation of these muscles. And the innervation of the muscles is actually pretty straightforward. There's a way to learn this. Okay? Here's how you do it. You learn the four muscles that are innervated by the medial plantar nerve, and then everything else is lateral plantar nerve. Okay, so medial plantar nerve, we've got abductor hallucis, flexor digitorum brevis, flexor hallucis brevis, and then one of the lumbricals, and it's actually the medial lumbrical. So the medial lumbrical is the lumbrical that's closest to the great toe. In fact, if you take a look at the orientation of all these muscles, We've got ab abductor hallucis, flexor digitorum brevis, 
flexor hallucis brevis and the first lumbricle, all of those muscles are closer to the great toe. Well, that's interesting because notice the medial plantar nerves are closest to the great toe. So abductor hallucis, flexor digitorum brevis, they're close to the great toe side of the foot. The first lumbricle is close to the great toe of the foot and then flexor hallucis brevis. Those four muscles are innervated by the medial plantar nerve. Everything else is lateral plantar nerve, okay? And that includes the other three lumbricals are lateral plantar nerve. So if you learn that rule, the four muscles that are innervated by the medial plantar nerve, everything else is lateral plantar nerve. But don't just memorize. Remember, the medial plantar nerve innervated muscles are all close to the great toe, or at least that side of the foot, and that can actually help you learn that. So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of all the muscles, intrinsic muscles that is, of the feet. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.